Well, it's about seven o'clock and the lorry's just turned up. Here he is. What a bloke. How you doing? All right. Same as last time, up there. What a beauty. So we can't see a damn thing, but we've got to get the hollow bones connected so we can tow it off with the old Fogan. Me and Jack decided, because it was so dark, we'd best wait to manoeuvre the uh, RV into position in the morning rather than crash into things at night. Right, well now I can actually see the damn thing. Got some good snatch blocks, a bit of spare track link. Road wheels look in pretty good condition. Bazooka plates are good. What do you think, Ted? There's a bit of room for improvement on the tracks, but you know, generally it's not too bad. Well, it's got a gearbox, it's got some fans, a fuel tank, air cleaner, oil tank, lots of rust. Let's have a look in here. We have a B80. Mm. We have a winch, some broken Smith's gauges.
God's sake. Right, well this is gonna be very ambitious, but we've got two Fodens now. What could possibly go wrong? Diane Abbott's sump all welded up. Will it leak? Of course it will. <laughs> it looks like a good job to me. It looks alright, mate. Right? What's the strainer like in there? Oh, the strainer oh, man, looks like that needs replacing. No, leave it. Oh, wow. Gonna leave it. No, I think we've got some spare of them. Well, we'll probably have now. Well, Tay has been cracking on with Seb's engine, painted the bits and pieces. It's looking a bit good. And me and Jack have been doing some bits to the Avery. Um, we're just about to fit the starter motor. Jack's doing a water pipe now, struggling with. Also got the fuel to connect as well. Now, originally there was audio to this bit of film here, but because the radio was playing in the background, YouTube had a strop and took it down for copywriting. So I've had to voice over this, and I hate doing voiceovers. We're about to fit the starter motor. Oh, oh no, I've just dropped my thatches. Oh, it tasted awful anyway. Awful! Right, well now the starter motor's all connected, the fuel pipe's connected, the water pipes are connected, and it's all looking pretty good. It will need a jolly good clean-up in here, though. Fans on YouTube. Oh. Kill yourself. So now I've just got to finish tighten up the last of the eight hole engine hold-down bolts. Um, I've got that little water pipe to connect up and uh, we're getting there soon be time to fit the fans at least this one's actually got tracks yeah. It's a good start. Look forward to have a little look around this. Ain't too rusty on the side boxes. I took the capola off because it's actually really awkward to get in. If you're well, fat. I agree, but it's also a bit, there's a B80 in there. Then there's a, there's a B12. It's a lot better than the other one. I'm starting to have a bit of a collection of these things. Well, yeah. Yeah, I wonder why it's got braces on it. Someone clever will know why. No, Seb doesn't like Centurions. Yeah, that's off the rear sprag, sprag pin. I bet there ain't two. Oh, there is. There's your one. We've got a spare rear sprag, so. Oh, mate. Okay. Spragged up. Fish tail. It's a bit bust. Mm, that'll weld.
Mm. I've actually got new ones. Mmm. What a beauty. More air suspension. Mmm. Only trouble with hush puppies. Rubber blocks aren't bolted in, they're bonded in, so they can't be replaced. Bit of a shame. Have to change the whole track link. What a truck. down there and then come back and park it here. Yeah. Well, we thought we'd better check the engine out in the aisles. I hate it when you control that thing, you're f***ing shy. No! Yes! 
stop me in the head. <laughs> With the engine louvers folded back, we could now see the engine bay very clearly. And in all fairness, it wasn't in that bad a condition. It's definitely savable. The alternator's knackered, but the rest of it seems to be okay. So uh, I think we're gonna chuck a tarp over it and come back to this when we have five minutes. Well, when was it recon? Was it standard? It was recon in 2021. Uh, overhauled in March 90. Oh. <laughs> Not that old, though. Only 32, three years old. 36 years. 32. 36 years, is it? Quick, Matt. 1990. Yeah. 2023. Yeah. What did you say? 33 years. It's 32 because it's March. Oh, I was in March. Yeah, but you were, you were wrong with six, weren't you? Just make sure you don't see our brush. Oh, God, mate. Brush did it. Never do that again. Well, well now, let's just, let's let's just get... start by ripping this out now and waste the rest of the day, shall well, we? I think let's get some funnels, strengthen the air intake, and then we'll leave it. Good idea, yeah. Or do you want to go find a bucket of seawater? No, let's go and get a tarp and we'll chuck over and put that right back down. Oh, is there any fuel in that tank? A bit tap. Your best friend. That is me. Yeah, right, we're going to get one of the set of tarps. Uh, I think it's a big one. Was that the swimming pool cover off the Titanic? Yeah. Apparently, the Titanic swimming pool is still full. It is, yeah. Still got people on the side. People playing the violin. swimming pool soon. Jack, you missed a bit. Anyway, I have absolutely no idea yet what I'm going to do with those two vehicles. Well, thanks to all of those that had the patience to watch the video. <laughs> I don't think I could manage it. Please leave some life advice for Jack. Whoops. <laughs>